Well, Joanna and Stephen, it just really depends on who you ask. Some of them are happy about it, actually, but others are very disappointed. Businesses like Lily's Seafood and Royal Oak are going to miss not having that ball drop here on New Year's Eve. I think, you know, the city itself and, and the folks who live here really would like to see it come back, as would we. Bob Morton, co-owner of the restaurant, says they're working with other local restaurants to bring the event back after Cumulus Media, who bought Citadel Broadcasting last year's organizers, decided not to hold it again this year. It brought a ton of people downtown. There was a lot of excitement. Um, we found that our New Year's uh, event lasted a lot longer than it normally did. That's because the ball practically dropped right outside their door near the corner of Washington Avenue and 6th Street. Along with it came a steady crowd of about 8,000 people. But not everyone is upset about not seeing the event this year. In fact, some of the businesses and restaurants are happier without it. For a business like us, it's actually better because we're so far away from it, it didn't bring us any benefit. This is the first time in 12 years that the Royal Oak Brewery will be open to the public on New Year's Eve and not be closed for a private party. Things can get a little dull and stale, so we wanted to make it a little new. Venues like the Royal Oak Music Theater expect to have around 1,500 partiers on Saturday night. If you like Michael Franker, Harry, he can't beat Ben Sharkey. He'll be performing second, and then the DJs will take us till 4 a.m. Royal Oak is generally a hot spot for ringing in the new year with or without a ball drop. But of course, that doesn't mean it can't happen again next year. And Cumulus Media didn't return our calls today as to why they stopped the event. Some speculation by business overs as it just fell through during the takeover or there wasn't enough funding. Last year, Saab Cars of North America was their co-sponsor. We're live in downtown Royal Oak. Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.